Hey guys, it's Lindsay, author of Scritch Scratch and the Peculiar Incident on Shady Street. I am actually in my car right now, um, awaiting to show you all some fun haunted locations here in Graceland Cemetery. I've been meeting with so many different schools over the course of the past few weeks and my presentation that I give virtually actually um, covers a couple of these locations. And so today it is overcast and dreary and chilly and eerie in Chicago and I thought it was a perfect day to actually do a little road trip and take you to a few of them live which I think will be really fun. So I'm actually going to um, turn the camera off here for a moment and I'm going to start at Eternal Silence which is a sculpture created by a man named Laredo Taft to honor the memory of another man named Dexter Graves and this one has a very powerful very spooky ghost legend associated with it. So in a moment, I'll be right back. We'll get closer to the sculpture. I'll get out of the car. I will show you the spookiness up close and uh, I'll even test the legend with you. And then we'll move on to a few other fun spots. So hang tight. Guys, here we go. We are at stop number one on our spooky Graceland tour. <gasps> Here he is up close. If you've been in one of my school presentations, you have seen this image in the slideshow that I use. This is Eternal Silence, the final resting place of Dexter Graves, created by famous sculptor Laredo Taft. I'm gonna get up close to this. I hope you guys can sense from this how tremendously large and imposing this sculpture is and very eerie. Uh, it's just something to behold, really, when you're close to it, standing in front of it like this. It's got this extremely eerie shade of whitish blue. It really makes it pop out. And the fact that you have a, an extremely dark face, it kind of makes it look like it's staring at you out um, from beneath that, that hood, just this, this um, dark black opening up there. It's very ominous really. And also if you look, speaking of the face being dark, um, at the sides here you see evidence of the original color of the sculpture. It wasn't always this ghostly shade, friends. It's been oxidized over the, ear, the years, like, uh, like the Statue of Liberty actually. It's turned this color on its own. And remember the ghost legend. The ghost legend is if you are brave enough to stand in front of this sculpture and stare up into its face you'll be shown a vision of your death. And I just wanna show you guys, I don't know if this is coincidental, but there is a patch here um, in the ground that looks like there's no grass, like where people have perhaps stood many, many times. So let's get on it. Here we go. Oh, that's spooky, isn't it? I'm not seeing a vision of my death, but there is a very, very cold breeze whipping through the graveyard right now and I have goosebumps all over me. <sighs> okay, friends. I'm gonna back up from the sculpture, give you one more good look before we move on to our next haunted spot. If you guys have chills, it makes me feel a little bit better. It makes me feel like I'm not alone. <laughs> I have horrible goosebumps right now. All right, see you at the next spot. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm in one of my favorite spots, actually, of Graceland Cemetery. These little mausoleums that you see um, across the street from where I'm standing actually are uh, in my debut novel, The Peculiar Incident on Shady Street, which is another ghost story that takes place here in Chicago. So if you've read that book, you might actually recognize the description, um, recognize these from the description. All right, I'm going to take us to speaking of the peculiar incident on Shady Street, one of the most captivating ghost legends in all of Chicago is right over here. You'll be able to see her in just a moment when we get through this area. Ah, see that plexiglass box, guys? That is Inez. Now, if you've never seen her, this is pretty amazing. She is so cool. great day to be here visiting her. There's a light drizzle falling, a very cold breeze. This is Inez Clark. Now there's more to the story than just this sculpture. The ghost legend claims that when there's a terrible storm here in Graceland, this sculpture vanishes. 
This has been handed down for many, many generations. And the original ghost legend is that this poor little girl was locked out of her home during a thunderstorm and struck by lightning, and that is how she passed away. I will tell you right now that is not true. There is a lot more to her than that story. I'm not going to go into all of it right now because I want you to read the book. But check this out. Look at all of the little trinkets and gadgets that people have left at her grave. She's tremendously popular. Can't we see why? Look at this sculpture. She really is beautiful, but also eerie at the same time. All right, speaking of rain, it is coming, friends. There is a cold breeze and it is starting to rain on me. I'm gonna move back to the car Whew. and try to squeak in one more stop for you guys, all right? Whew. Man, it's chilly out here today. Guys, it feels, it feels like Halloween already and it's starting to look like Halloween. All right, be back in a moment. All right, we're at the tomb of Ludwig Wolf. If you've been in one of my school presentations in the past month, I know you've seen this in my slideshow. I think it's so interesting because if you look at where this is positioned, he's buried in the side of a hill. There's a big hill here and his tomb goes down into that hill, kind of like a bunker. So let me get a little closer, guys. So you see here, there's a series of very steep steps headed down. Now, I'm not going to be able to get into this tomb, but because I think you guys will like it, I will be brave and I will go down the steps toward the door. Ooh, all right. So there is no way to see in guys there are no windows and I obviously cannot go into the tomb which might not be such an awful thing because those of you who weren't in my school presentations let me tell you the legend about Ludwig's grave is that it is guarded at times by a green-eyed demon dog I do not want to fight said demon dog so I'm not going to do anything sketchy around Ludwig's grave just in case that is true. And also for those of you wondering about the bars in front of the door. Yep, I know we've all seen a lot of zombie movies, but trust me, those are not to keep anyone from coming out <laughs> of this tomb. It's actually to keep people from going in so that it's respectful to Mr. Wolf and his family. All right, there is a mausoleum across the street. I may be able to peek inside of with you though, if you'd like. I don't fall down on the way there. I don't know how much the phone just shook right there, but seriously, guys, I just totally lost my footing and almost face planted. Okay, so there's a small window, but that that's I think gonna be a little a little too high for me. We'll see. Ooh, recognize the the color of this. It's it's very similar to the color of Dexter Graves, isn't it? Ah, there's actually no window here. Let me go around the side. Okay, guys, this is too tall for me. I can't see him, but I'll put my phone up and see if you guys see anything in there. You see anything or is it too dirty? Oh, it might be too dirty. All right, that's okay. We tried. If you get to Graceland, you guys can, can do this sometimes as well. Also, if you're ever in Graceland and you're looking for Ludwig, here is the pond. He's very, very close to the pond, and if you want to orient yourself right across the pond, that very large structure over there with the pillars is the Potter, Palmer, and Bertha Palmer family memorial and grave sites. So almost directly across and across the street is Ludwig, buried in this hill. So unique. All right, friends, over and out. Ooh. The chill is picking up, guys. All right, I want to show you the spot because not only are these tombs just incredible, 
but I think they give you a real sense of how elaborate some of these burial spots could be. Look at this. Oh, there's some tree branches hanging in our way, but isn't that amazing? This, this is a really unique one. I just think it's beautiful. Let's get up close to this one. Ooh, what do you say we investigate a little bit? It looks like there are several people memorialized and buried here. The Honor family. Now, Honor or Honorary, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that. We have a street in Chicago with that name, so I do wonder if they may not be connected. So this is what this looks like. These individual burying locations. Oh, look at the engraving. Check this out. If you all have never seen this in Graceland Cemetery, which if you're not in Chicago, you probably wouldn't have, this enormous, I mean, this is almost the size of, of a building, guys, a large building. This is a memorial for Potter Palmer and family. Look at this. Can you believe the size of this and how ornate and elaborate it is. Also, oh, we see some flowers and a candle over here. Potter and Bertha, there are their, their markers right here. And they have a lovely, lovely spot because look at this view of the pond. Very pretty. Very pretty. A little eerie too, of course. Not gonna lie. On a cold, wet, windy, leafy day like today, no graveyard is particularly cheerful. <laughs> but there's there's a lot of eerie spots here in Graceland. And one of them is actually right behind my car. Actually, if you guys want to hold on a second, I'll show you one that's always kind of spooked me a little bit just because of the sculpture. And then I have one more statue I want to show you. You see the large Pullman statue there on the right. There's a, a pyramid, very Egyptian inspired tomb in front of us. It has a, a angel on one side. And on the other side, a sphinx. Really interesting. Check this one out. Large white pillars. Kimball, it says at the top. Also very ornate. We see it looks like there are two people buried here. William Wallace and Eveline M. And this very spooky angel seated just behind them, I suppose protecting or guarding over their final resting place. All right, it's back to the car for our final stop, which is going to be the Piper. Now, I call this, this grave that I'm gonna show you the Piper. You guys will see why. There isn't a particular ghost legend associated with it, but it's extremely unique and I'm drawn to it every time I'm here. So I'm going to share it with you all. Okay, be back. Give me a minute to find him, friends, but we have come across the Piper. Let me walk over here and show you why I call this particular grave the Piper. Now remember, there's not a particular ghost legend about this one, but I just think it's absolutely incredible and detailed and so unique that I wanted to share it. Oh, and it seems as though it's decorated today. Look at that. There's an inscription on the side. For all we know, this may only be a dream. We come and go like ripples on a stream. For all we know, tomorrow may never come. For all we know, wow. 
here's a closer look at him. Looks like he's got an angel here and someone has put a sash around here. It almost gives kind of a Peter Pan vibe, doesn't it? All right. This was our last stop on today's uh, spooky tour in Graceland Cemetery, but there is so much more to see here with around 100 acres of memorials and graves and architecture and history. I hope that if you guys are ever in Chicago, you actually come visit Graceland. It really is phenomenal. All right, everyone. Talk soon.